Good afternoon. I'm Brent Wilsey. With me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. I welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today we're talking about the rising gas prices for this weekend. This weekend is a 4th of July weekend. We all know during that weekend, like, oh, it's a holiday. We expect gas prices to go up. There's actually a reason for it this time. The reason is 4.1 million barrel decline in the oil inventory. And this is the sixth week in a row we've had a decline. So this whole glut of oil is starting to disappear and therefore prices are going to start to rise, not just because of 4th of July. And also look at demand. Demand is up almost 2% from 2015. So now supplies are starting to shrink and we still have a lot there, but they're starting to shrink and demand is increasing. Exactly. And with that increase in demand, you can see refineries are operating at 93%. Curious to see if that actually increases for this week to kind of catch up for this 4th of July weekend high demand period. Uh, gasoline inventories, however, did increase by 1.4 million barrels, but again, that could be due to the expected demand for 4th of July weekend. A lot of people traveling this weekend, so they're probably getting ready for that is what that is. So next week we could see that down. So staying with the oil gas theme, we're looking at uh, ExxonMobil today. Uh, the current price on $92 a share. The high, two week high is 92.70, the low 66.55. You can see back in 2014, it was up well over 100. Let's look at the numbers now to see if ExxonMobil is a buy or not. Uh, sales are down, no surprise here, 32%. Earnings per share fell by 53%. Again, no surprise with that. A lot of oil companies are cutting back, closing down uh, drillers and so forth. So that is true for ExxonMobil as well. Interesting point, last three years, they bought back $33 billion of stock. They have slowed down last year, I believe about $4 billion, I think was the number they bought back last year, a lot more the previous two years. Um, so again, doing all the right things, but again, it seems a little bit pricey right now. Well, increasing your share of the pie, we always like to say that's a great thing. Yeah. Uh, but getting that target sell price going on to December 2017, estimated earnings per share on a gap basis, $4.31 gives a target sell price of $71.12. Now with not just ExxonMobil, but all oil companies, there's a very large discrepancy between the high estimate, in this case $6.63, and the low estimate of $3.28. And you know, these people down here, they're, they're still thinking oil's going to $10 a barrel. I actually saw some, some guy, I forget which firm he was with, saying, I'm still holding my call that oil is going to $10 a barrel. But again, I, I don't, I mean, do you think those OPEC nations can handle ten dollars a barrel? They they will starve to death. They'll starve to death. And again, it's already proven that's not going to be the case. And oil is hanging pretty tight around fifty dollars a barrel. Even through Brexit, it was down about forty-seven, but bounced back back up about forty fifty dollars a barrel. So we'll we'll see. But I, I think we're in a good range right now. And I do believe that by the end of the year, we could see oil around sixty dollars a barrel. No one at ten dollars a barrel. So, with that said, let me ask you if you're happy with the current return on your portfolio, your money. Maybe you're just not happy with the current advisor giving you good information. Well, we've been managing money here for over thirty years at Wilson Asset Management. Maybe it's time you gave us a call here at our firm. Uh, phone number here is eight five eight five four six four three zero six. And if you've missed any previous Smart Investing daily briefings, go to our website, smartinvesting2000.com.